Okay, so Israel now considers the worst strategic threats it is facing right now are one, the nuclear threat coming from Iran and the growing BDS campaign. And that is why, and that is why now when anybody, when any conscientious supporters of Palestine come to visit Palestine, and especially those such as yourselves who decide to come and break the siege, and they ask us what we want. As the oppressed, we say, we want one thing. We want you to exert pressure on your governments to boycott apartheid as well. Y así cuando llegan delegaciones como nosotros, que eh, han sido capaces de romper el bloqueo, lo que las organizaciones palestinas nos demandan, nos, nos piden es que vayamos, que volvamos a nuestros países y les exijamos a nuestras sociedades, a nuestros gobiernos, que se impulse y que se aplique el BDS. Notice, notice we are not calling for a political solution. We, our movement is a, right, excuse me, is a rights based movement. It is not a political movement. Rights based, we're calling for implementation of our rights as, as decided by international law. And that is why we are expecting governments of the world to treat Israel the same way those governments treated apartheid South Africa. In fact, we have had so many visitors from South Africa, um, including Archbishop Desmond Tutu, <coughs> including uh, Comrade Ronnie Kassrils, uh, in including Nelson Mandela himself, who visited Palestine, I think it was 19, uh, I think 1997-98, I'm not sure, who visited Palestine. And what they, had, what they had to say is very telling. They told us, and I am, I am rephrasing what they had to tell us. They said, what you are going through in Palestine is far, far worse than what we had witnessed under the heydays of apartheid. Dice que dentro de las delegaciones internacionales ha llegado a Palestina muchas delegaciones de Sudáfrica. Entre ellos ha visitado Palestina el obispo de Montutu, Ronnie Castle, que para explicar quién es, fue, era el, el dirigente de la inteligencia militar de Nelson Mandela, blanco y judío, a todo esto sudafricano, personaje interesante, y el mismo Nelson Mandela. Y lo que dijeron ellos, y está citando literalmente eh, lo que declararon al venir a Palestina, es que la apartheid, la situación de la apartheid en Palestina es mucho peor que la que ellos vivieron en Sudáfrica. And in fact, the importance of the BDS campaign is that it is the tool that we, the oppressed of Palestine, are asking supporters of Palestine to use in order to show their support for Palestine. Así que la mejor, eh, la mejor estrategia, la mejor arma que, que tienen los palestinos y que nos piden que utilicemos es el BDS, el desinversión y sanciones. Now you are here, you are in Gaza. You've managed, you've managed to break the siege. You've managed to come, I don't know how long you had to stay in, in Egypt, in order to come to Gaza, but then you will go back home. And we expect you to continue your support for Palestine. And what we are saying is that we want one thing from you. We want you to boycott apartheid Israel, to divest from apartheid Israel, and exert pressure on your government to impose sanctions against Israel. Así que, ya, ya que hemos hecho el esfuerzo, hemos conseguido, no, no, sabemos, no sabe cuánto tiempo hemos tenido que esperar en Egipto, desde qué países hemos tenido que venir hasta aquí, hemos logrado superar el bloqueo a Gaza, Solo nos piden una cosa, que cuando volvamos a nuestros países, ejerzamos presión sobre nuestros gobiernos para que impongan sanciones al Estado de Israel. Without, without the BDS campaign in the 60s, 70s and 80s against apartheid, Nelson Mandela would have died in jail. <coughs> Sin la campaña de, de boicot eh, a Israel, que se, eh, perdón, a Sudáfrica, que se, que se, que se impulsó en los años 60, 70 y 80, Nelson Mandela no hubiera llegado a ser el presidente de Sudáfrica si no hubiera muerto en la prisión. Some people 
following Israeli Hasbara propaganda campaign accuse us of wanting to destroy the state of Israel. Eh, según la trata de manipular la Hasbara, Hasbara es la palabra hebrea para propaganda. La propaganda israelí, eh, el movimiento BDS tiene el objetivo de destruir Israel. And what we are saying is that the BDS campaign targeted the apartheid system, it did not target South Africa as a country. The same thing applies to the civil movement in the 50s and 60s led by Martin Luther King. De la misma manera que el movimiento por los derechos civiles negros en los afroamericanos en Estados Unidos eh, liderado por Martin Luther King. So what we want is an end to Israel's multiple form of oppression. One end to occupation, two end to apartheid, 